Coastal New England boasts some of the richest fishing grounds in the world. It's also home to a variety of protected marine life. Whales and sea turtles can get entangled in buoy lines that run from the surface to lobster traps and crab pots on the seafloor. Entanglements are one of the leading causes of injury and death for critically endangered North Atlantic right whales. At NOAA Fisheries, our mission is to promote sustainable fisheries while ensuring the protection of marine life. That's why the Northeast Fisheries Science Center gear research team and its partners are investigating ways to modify traditional lobster and crab gear. Ropeless gear, also known as buoyless or on-demand systems, eliminate vertical buoy lines from areas where the risk of entanglement is high. I'm a third generation lobsterman, my father, my grandfather, and somewhere down the line, <laughs> it could be that I'm going to be having to fish in a closed area with ropeless gear. And I feel totally confident that if that was the case, I'm good. You know, it's exciting to be leading the charge, you know, on something that could change really the face of fishing, uh, lobster fishing anyways to be that person that's giving the input, you know, that's pretty cool. From my perspective, the future is brighter for the right whale now that technology has come up and met, you know, the challenge with the right whales. Yes, buoys are the easiest way to do it, but we're not living in that world anymore. We're trying to save a species, and how we fished before is not the way we're gonna fish in the future. There are three types of acoustic ropeless technologies. Pop-up buoy, inflatable lift bag, and spool systems. Using an onboard controller, a fisherman sends an acoustic signal to the receiver on the trap which triggers the release of a buoyant device. Another method is the timed release. After a programmed amount of time, the gear floats to the surface. Since fishermen aren't always nearby when the buoy is released, there is still some risk of entanglement. Once they're at the surface, fishermen haul their traps as usual. Ropeless gear is gaining traction in lobster and crab fisheries. We're working on ways to mark the traps without surface buoys so that other fishermen and law enforcement know where they are. We need fishermen's feedback to continue improving gear designs and best practices. That's why we've partnered with academic and conservation groups to create a gear library at our lab in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. We provide ropeless systems to fishermen to evaluate and their experiences help us tailor the technology to their needs. Ropeless fishing is probably the only long-term solution for those parts of the fishery that present the most risk. So the gear library is unique in my mind because it brings a several groups of people together that wouldn't otherwise be working together. So we have the scientific expertise to make sure that the decisions are, you know, grounded in, in solid science. And probably most importantly, we have fishermen that are willing to give us feedback and that are um, participating at every step of the way. We're all focused on ensuring that not only does fishing exist, but that right whales exist. It's going to take a few more gear modifications. It's going to take more money. It's going to take more time and more sweat equity, but I really think we can get there. Ropeless technologies balance the need to sustain lobster and crab fisheries while protecting endangered whales and sea turtles. With collaboration and innovation, we're developing solutions that work for everyone.